Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, it's been months since I post an actual video and what can I say? Still trans. Um, yep. Also, I got a tattoo. It says human. If you can read, I don't think I can. Oh my god, it's blurring out. Bitch! Yeah, you got, you got the idea. If you want to see my actual tattoo, I think you can go down on my Instagram. It's probably in the description or in my channel page where the, the links are there. It's been a while. Um, been through a lot. Come out to more people. Came, came out to more people. What the fuck? My grandma sucks. My parents went to the gender clinic to talk with the doctor and uh, guess I have to do this on my own um, one more year till I'm 21 so I need to like stay alive right now <laughs> to get on hormones just found out that my cousin is also a trans mask individual they use they them pronouns it's really surprisingly easy for me to like switch the pronouns I think because I didn't see them for like years I've been not interested in hanging out with my relatives so that's easy for me I have also I did an internship in the mice industry in the marketing department brand marketing specifically got a got a uh, I would say a decent grade but I got a B but it pulled down my GPA so kind of suck but i don't really care about my gpa i don't know why and then i going to have my next tattoo um next week next saturday and then probably post it on my instagram also i'm wearing this cap because oh my god i've been blurry this whole time what the fuck bitch wearing this cap because my hair is a mess having cut it for like two months plus I think because I'm too dysphoric which fucking sucks too dysphoric to like I kept thinking about going to the Baba and then like I don't know it just I just feel suckish like I need to open my mouth and then my voice would out me no it's not out outing me. It's like people will think that I'm either prepubescent boy that I'm fine with, but girl part is like uh, the worst part, which I don't want to do that. That's about it. I embroidered the cap. It says lonely kid here. I don't know. It's pretty fucking cool. I love it so much. I love this dad cap so much. And then. I'm out of focus again. I don't care. I'm still going to post it even though it's out of focus all the time. I think you can see that my face shape changed. I feel like my face like changed over time because I did like exercise like not in the gym. You know, gym is dysphoric. For me, I don't want to go there. Normally, I do it at home um, with those like resistance bands those tension things to build up my muscles the lighting sucks but overall it's been better for that department of stuff like for real like natural testosterone changed the face shape I noticed like a lot and then my neck become a bit thicker 
Sorry, I look gross and shit. Look at this. Looks so fucking gross because I'm out of my face wash and I'm too lazy to get that. And then I, you can see my dimples more now. Or is it my dimples or is it just the jawline? You know what? I don't give a shit. Like for real though, face really changed. So if you're pretty and you wanna pass, like in t like in terms of the way you look, highly recommend um exercising, doing a bunch of like weightlifting stuff. If you are dysphoric to go to the gym, definitely recommend you going to Amazon and buy resistant bands and then look up online on how to do those exercises. So yeah, it really helps me a lot keeps my mind occupied <sighs> fucking hate myself school is about to start I don't know just thinking about that fucking sucks also I got my ears pierced and it's uh, I'm stretching out so currently is two gauge now I'm aiming for zero Actually, supposedly, I'm aiming for 2 gauge and then I'm like, wait, it's kind of small. So, I'm gonna see how 0 gauge goes first on my ear and then see how it looks. I don't want it to be too big or too small. Got it. Both from February until now, which is September. Yeah, I got them stretching. I don't know. I feel like having tattoos really lifted the way I feel about my body I feel more associated I don't fucking know like I feel more in my body with tattoos on my body because I see that that is a part of me on my skin previously without tattoos I feel like shit but then now with tattoos, I feel even more shit because it's not because of my tattoo. I love my tattoo, but isn't it like my brain will link this to my body? So when I feel dysphoric, it's even worse. But when I feel euphoric, it's even more euphoric than previously. I think that's it. Gotta go. Oh, also, like, my laptop, it's fucked up. I lost a ton of stuff. Whatever the fuck. Everything's gone. So, I'm gonna leave you with this boring-ass outro with just me saying bye. Okay, bye, bitch. But then again, before, before, before that, I was thinking about names, right? So now, my name is Aiden. I've been kind of back and forth with my name. I'm really into the name Jack so my friends say that I look like a Jack and then Aiden I was thinking like Aiden is fucking difficult for people also and like very I feel like it's very trans name um, which I don't know if I like it or not don't really like it now <laughs> as much as before but it's fine. I feel like Aiden is like my transition name. Maybe when I get to the point when I'm on hormones, maybe I'll reconsider my name. I'm not gonna change my name legally yet until I feel fine. Because if I change my name, I'm gonna change my IC, my identification card, which I need to change the fucking photo and name. So. Maybe um, a few months on hormones and then I'll take a picture which I feel more comfortable with. Then change my name legally and then everything will be fine. <sighs> That's a good update, I feel. Hmm? Is it good enough? I feel like it's good enough. Okay, goodbye.